Good evening, I'm Poppy Moria, and welcome to Mary Ham News. Our first story comes from Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa is a YouTuber with over almost 10 million <laughs> subscribers. Hello, all my good friends, and welcome back to the Big Kids. I'm Pip. Why does this exist? Well, it turns out that in Jojo Siwa's products, it was contaminated for the second time with asbestos. What? You never played. Jojo Siwa has products that cause cancer. <laughs> what? Not only does her content cause cancer, now her products does as well. Jojo Siwa was like my pillar of trust. How could she break it like this? What the frick, Jojo Siwa? I trusted you. I've always said, Jojo Siwa, I can trust no matter what. I buy all my merch and make a products from her. For those of you who don't know, asbestos is uh, usually found in fiberglass in like isolation of houses. Insulation. It's very not good to breathe in that stuff. That can give you cancer and other illnesses. Very bad thing. Cause cancer to your fans, not good, okay? So she released this apology video. Apology video time, yay! <laughs> Let's watch. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? This mother <sighs> You do not give off that you do not have the right to give off that smirk, Jojo. Alright. And don't get don't get me started with the ironic sigh. Let's sigh. I'm getting very angry. You know, nothing says genuine apology video like disabling the comments and uploading it on your second channel. Yay! Let's make sure as few people as possible know about this. I can't, I can't do that, I can't do that. I was gonna start this video all serious and dramatic, but that's not who I am. That's not what this video is about. It's just... This video makes me... Uh, this video is just p pure pain to watch, so I'll just k skip to the end. You can get a, a refund at no matter what it is. If it's used, if it's unused, you can get a full refund. Oh, so I can still use it. <laughs> it has asbestos in it, but I, I can still use it. That's great. I got asbestos for free. Wow, that's so nice. Thank you, Jojo Siwa. Thank you. To be fair, play devil's advocate. Maybe this is one of those things where... God, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Maybe this is one of those things where it sounds bad, but it really is not that big of a deal. That's just the only way I can defend this. I don't know, and I don't care to look into it. Because I'm Mary Ham, and research, that's for pussies. Next, news. Update, update news, update news. Get excited for update news. TFU versus Face Clan drama update. Yay! I really want to know more about this. Please tell us. Yes, I will. I will. Okay, calm down. Tifu's lawyer has spoken out. In an interview, previously what we know about the FaZe Clan versus Tfue lawsuit was the fact that FaZe Clan kept saying, oh, we, we tried to just give him like an updated contract, but he just said no, he doesn't want to be part of FaZe. He just like, oh, he doesn't want to be part of it. He's so unreasonable. Like, why does he not just negotiate with us? Well, apparently, as it turns out, uh, through Tifu's lawyer is that they did. They tried to give a legal version of the contract to them, uh, which FaZe Clan then adjusted so much in the sense that it, it became illegal again. Phase plan was presented with a contract Turner would accept. It was, you know, as close to a legal contract as you can get, but apparently that wasn't good enough for them. And they decided to uh, mark up about half of it, get rid of about half of it, put in their own provisions, which again made it illegal once again. Obviously this is interesting because it changes sort of what was the dynamic is what was said but at the same time what their version of the contract could have been easily as unreasonable to phase clan as phase clan's contract to tfue so it could be whatever in the end it could it doesn't even matter another point that was interesting that was brought up was the sixty thousand dollars that phase clan had only taken from tfue and that was it that's all they've taken but the lawyer brings up well he's actually brought them in so much more money just from being in phase thousand dollar figure as to what they made off him it's disingenuous i mean do you realize how much money phase clan is making by having turner as part of its team how much advertising they're selling how many sponsorships that they obtained because turner was part of their team it's almost laughable to think that they are saying that they took sixty thousand dollars from him and that's it when they've made 
millions of dollars. Okay, all right, it's a good point, right? That's why FaZe wants to have TFU a part of FaZe to begin with, so that they can make money of his clout, his epic Fortnite clout. Smash like if you're like Fortnite. But then again, if he makes him that much money through brand deals, then why the hell did he only make 60,000 from it, right? Or what's 20%? Uh, I mean, uh, math, help me. 60 times X, no, X times, X times 0, 20. 300,000. That's my math. <laughs> TFU's only made 300,000 for through brand deals from Face Clay. All right, next. Deji! Deji versus KSI drama. Now, this has been some of the hottest drama in a very long time. <laughs> I mean, like, no, no one cares about this. Uh, even me trying to figure it out, I'm like, oh, okay, all right, well. <laughs> Deji uploaded a video yesterday or two days ago. It's very emotional. You know what? I'm tired of it. If you understood what I was going through, then you would understand, all right? But people have to, when, when someone's lying about you. Okay, so how did we end up here? Well, let me summarize for you. Instead of watching, what, like five hours of content? Three weeks ago, K Deji, KSI's brother, uploaded a video saying that he's tired of seeing as the bad guy. And he uploaded this video called Bye. And he's like, uh, my brother is not that great, okay? The main gist of the video was that he felt like his brother didn't stand up for him. His brother didn't have his back. And that he's done a lot of shady stuff as well. Have your back, no matter what. Family sticks by you. Then KSI responded to this video. I was here for you, whether we're on good terms or bad terms. Whenever you message me, I always reply, Dej. I want you to succeed in everything you do. But Deji, man, you have to communicate with me. To me, this video seemed pretty genuine. He addressed, almost, I think, all the issues that Deji brought up about the girl drama that happened. Apparently, KSI slept with a girl that Deji liked. Some drama that happened during Christmas. Who cares that Deji is always getting punched in his videos or something like that. And Deji responded saying, okay, moving on. Great, great, thank God. Just solve this privately. Like, why was this video made to begin with? I would be a lot more inclined to pick Deji's side in this situation. If this original video didn't have a bunch of mid-rolls on it, it's a 45-minute video, very much in the same style as the Tati call-out James Charles video that was gained so much traction. If it wasn't for these two things, I would be more inclined to believe Deji's intention with just wanting to stand up for himself. He keeps saying that I'm not attacking KSI, I'm just standing up for myself, that my intention was not to attack him, but you are bringing up a lot of things about your brother to make him look bad. You don't have to do that to defend yourself. Not all of it is that way, but a lot of it is. You can stab someone and say, I'm not trying to hurt you. Well, that doesn't change the fact. Then Deji uploads a fourth video wearing the exact same outfit. What have you been doing for the past two weeks, Deji? <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? It's Deji. Oh, my God. <laughs> In this video, Deji says that he has huge evidence saying that KSI lied about the girl thing. Because KSI said, KSI said he didn't know who the girl he slept with was actually someone his brother knew. Oh, my God. He straight up lied. I'm going to show you some huge evidence. That will just make you question the whole of my brother's video. I didn't even know she knew you. I don't even remember your name even being mentioned. For all I knew, she was just a girl that I met at a concert. I didn't even see her in any of your videos. And then these are his texts, okay? These are his texts. I'm not gonna read them. You read them for yourself. So this is KSI saying that she, he knew the girl was on his channel. But that doesn't prove that he knew that they were together. But then again, KSI, look at this. I have evidence. I don't even remember your name even being mentioned. For all I knew, she he touched his nose. That's like a classic example of lying. KSI liar confirmed. This happened, what, three years ago? Two, th two years ago? It's 2016. I don't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> Help me, please. It just seems so stupid, all of this. Did you guys not listen in my Tati video? Stop bringing private things into public. Then Deji showed, it gets so fing bizarre. Deji shows a the text message between her and this girl because he thought she gave him an STD. Oh, this is someone else. Sorry. Deji writing F you, man, to a girl. <laughs> Made me sick, you dumb F. How are you gonna meet me? Then tell me you're sick. Honestly, F yourself. I ain't meeting you anymore. I don't trust you. You could have given me an STD. 
dumb B word. I'm sorry, sad face, sad face. I only started feeling ill that day when I was on the way up, sad face, sad face. F off. You're a real piece of sh. Do you have an STD? Because I swear. What? Of course I don't. Good, sad face. Go away. What the hell is this? I met this girl, right? She did. She had a cold. I didn't know she had a cold. I literally had a, like, a cold the next day, and I thought she gave me an STD. I was pissed. That's why I said all the mean shit I said. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, my God. I had a cold. I thought you had an STD. Then it gets very emotional and very intense. And then that girl, the stupid, stupid girl, Ooh, has the audacity to make a video saying she's clearing the air. When you know what you did, you f***ed up massively. Despite Deji's flaws, I do like him in a way. He's he has a lot, he he has some likable qualities. Okay, I hate to see him like this. I think this has clearly gone too far. Deji, please take a break. You'll be fine. It's time to take a break from YouTube. This is. It's not a good idea. In one way, you know, he's the one that made the first video. He's the one that started all this out of nowhere. And it shows again how bad of an idea it is to bring these private matters into the public eye. A lot of people seem to think like, oh yeah, people just do all this crazy stuff to start drama online and like, it's gonna be epic, they get so much views. Yes, they get views from it, but clearly it's taken a massive mental toll on Deji. And I do feel him for that and I think I hope he realizes to just stop this. No one cares who's right and wrong at this point. I don't. Just, it's time to drop it. I will not be talking about this anymore. This is just stupid at this point. I think it shows a, it's a fatal flaw with YouTube of how, you know, numbers start dropping and you feel like you have to do something. And then at the end, was it worth it? I don't think so. Next news, Dr. Disrespect did something disrespectful. What? Unbelievable. So Dr. Disrespect did an IRL stream on the E through floor. He was very much in character, making fun of people at the site. It's Nintendo! Then Dr. Disrespect did the unthinkable. He had very hot poo poo and needed to, to go and make mud pie. Diarrhea hot candy. Can we find the diarrhea place? I'm starting to get pissed off. And he filmed inside the bathroom. So here's how that footage looked like. Damn! This caused Dr. Disrespect uh, of getting banned from Twitch. That's right, everybody. So it is against the community guidelines. I think on Twitch website, it says that sharing content that violates another reasonable expectation of privacy from, for example, streaming from a private space without permission. Should this Dr. Disrespect been banned? Yes, I don't think anyone is arguing against. He clearly went against the rules. I, and uh, that's just how it is. I've seen a lot of people picking some sort of moral high ground of going, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe Dr. Disrespect did this. Obviously, I understand that people want bathrooms to be a private space and that, that should not be violated. I get it. At the same time, I don't see the big deal. <laughs> it's sort of like the meme with boys locker room. <laughs> What do people think happened in the boys' locker room? What if someone saw someone's penis? I have never seen a penis in a boys' locker room or a, or a men's bathroom, okay? Unless you specifically go, huh? Then you're not gonna see some penis, pee pee. A lot of people have been saying, well, there was a kid. There was a kid in one of the urinals. Oh, uh, well, checkmate, liberals. Kids aren't allowed at E3. Maybe you should try and ban him instead, huh? Oh, 
It's legal to film in a bathroom? Okay, all right, well, let's look at the law. Number 647, which everyone brings up. This is the one everyone talks. It's illegal, it's illegal. Okay, well, what does it say? Privacy, Ex ex existing law generally makes a person who looks through a hole or opening into a periscope, telescope, camcorder, camera, in a bedroom, bathroom, changing room, fitting room, blah, 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 with the intent to invade privacy of a person is guilty of misdemeanor. With the intent. Was it Dr. Disrespect intent to invade the privacy of, of a person in there? I think that's arguable. Maybe I'm not a lawyer, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. From the footage of this, it's just following him into the bathroom stall. It's not trying to show other people. That's just what I got about, out of it. Was it a bad idea? Absolutely. Should he have gotten banned? I guess so. That are the Those are the rules. Was this the worst thing that has ever happened? I don't think so. That is not for me to say, I think other people should do this. I'm just looking at the context of this. I don't see it as that big of a deal to act so outraged about, okay? It seems more like people are insecure about their schlongs being shown on camera for some reason. And me, Mary Ham, don't care. No insecurities about schling schlongs. Our final notes comes from Peter, who made this tweet. Love the new hashtag Pokemon Wooloo. Great, well, my new favorite Pokemon is ruined. Thanks, Peter. They have a special message for all their future trainers. I'm not your Wooloo sweater. This is a meme template waiting to happen. And of course, Shadow the Hedgehog pissed on <laughs> Unbelievable. My wool grows back. Anyone is welcome to take my wool. Sheeps have to be sheared. They don't shed like most animals. Shearing doesn't hurt them at all. They enjoy it. Well done, Pita. Well done. That was it for all the oopsies this week. PewDiePie, no oopsie. Smash like, subscribe. Check out the merch, guys. Very epic. We got the new Tsuki merch. That's right, we launched beanies in the summer. What are you? What are you, not a hipster? Check out represent.com, support the channel, namaste, limited time, epicness. We have t-shirts now. What? You never played Tuber Simulator. <laughs> you know, it's fun, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but give it a try. And then you can tell me if it's good or not. Not convinced yet? Okay, I'll cut you a deal. The game is available for free. And that's a great price.